Alright guys, I'm Gold Ninja Vlogsport and today what I thought I'd do on Plant vs Zombies 2 was the Egypt expansion's out right now, four days of it, so I thought I'd just play through them. Considering I've not really revisited any of the expansion levels since playing them, I did play some of the modern day ones last week and one thing I've noticed that there's only A levels, I could have sworn there were 10 before. But I, leave, I believe the modern day removed a couple of them, so it started with that one easy last hand level with all the brickheads and stuff. So I guess we'll get right on into it. Also, I've noticed they've nerfed the gen from 100 to 80, but... Also, it's absolutely boring out there today. I'm not sure about how long this video will last, given it's too hot right now. I've had to shut my window so there's no background noise and it's absolutely boiling. I'll probably do like four here for the next one, so I guess the eight level thing does work out well. Survival of the given plants. Or oh, whatever I'm the first was nowadays, a Plant vs Zombies 3 level. Not hearing any intro music on usually. Is the music still out for the expansion then? Okay, can hear it, cool. So, we've got Snopees, interestingly. Grave bosses and imitated grave bosses. Guess I better start busting immediately. Please do not take that out of context. No, oh, the weird lost an arm. Oh yeah, I do forget that even though these are difficult, the zombies still have all the regular health. It's not like any pursuit. Also, it's no piece buff now, so it should be a lot easier to do this. I've not even been putting any sunflowers in. I don't know why I've not done that. I should be able to beat this cone head with a snow bee now. Oh god, one of these things, really. I only need three sunflowers. I don't think I need any more than that. It's going to look a bit wonky, though, the setup now. Yeah, I've got a little trouble here. Obviously, since they don't have snow bee, it's only on level one. That's nothing I didn't consider on putting that up there instead for now. I should just freeze one of these busters, really. Or plant food. Yeah, I don't think I'll kill them, though. Nope. Just too tough for that, bruv. What lane have I not- Okay, well, cabbage and everyone. I just need a few more snow bees. Also, I'm not sure if it's just me that's noticed this. Pretty much, like, two seconds after that, it gives a warning of a huge wave, the wave comes. There used to be way more of that. Um... I guess that, then. Freeze the lane. Oh, jeez, they're everywhere now. Might as well take advantage of the Invitator Grave Buster. So I'll double it up on Cabbage Bolts now, I guess so. I should just plant food and iceberg lettuce, actually. I should, don't know why I didn't do that. I've got to wait for it to recharge out of that, I think. Will I buy myself some time? I mean, I'm not really having any issues with the zombies, just all the graves everywhere. No final wave music, of course. Because God forbid they fix that. Oh, right, this lane's actually complete. I should probably get rid of the sunflowers now. I suppose the wild him so he has to eat the buster. Okay, that's a wrap then. So that level was fairly straightforward. I think they've removed the first couple of levels from maybe this as well. I know they did in one day. I don't know if they did for this world as well. But I'll swear the first level was like much harder and had like loads of explorers and stuff. What next? I have to manually select it every time. Oh yeah, Rhubarb Arian. I'm probably not going to do a video on this guy, but I've used him. He seems really OP. And he's like a cool guitar with when you use him. He seems really complicated though. So I have a massive attack. Oh, great. I mean, Portis had a better anyway, let's be fair. If you get that, then I salute you. Once there's massive attack, I was about to say God, I'm just saying, I've still got lore mowers, so I mean it's ancient Egypt anyway. Yeah, a level like this does not sound right with a regular music, but I'll take that over silence any day of the week. Colonel Pulse, why Peapod though? That's an odd pick. It's gonna be another asymmetrical one, I'm sorry. Well, I'll just get everything in that second lane ASAP. Yeah, I'll even build up Peapods there. Yeah, I've got Giles thought so. I feel like these but like, we'll be able to take out the, what are they called, Pyramid Head. Well, obviously, because I've got Pyramid Head. Repeater as well, okay. Oh, I can't even put, oh, sh they're spawning white on us. Come on. God, Antra's frozen. I wish I got it on that frame where you can actually see what's inside the coffin. The kernels just keep coming, which is nice. The kernels, the butter. The double sun. Oh, he's dead. Cool. Well, I feel like safe plant feed on the kernel pulse to stun them if the zombies get way too close. Doesn't have got no ice plants, got explorers in this level. Oh, okay, I would have rather did that before we crushed my repeater, but it's what it is, I guess. Huge wave, sandstorm. Oh, sh the bed. Um, come on. I feel like I'm just going to get this one off. This one, I've got more leeway. 
Whoa, he's dead instantly. Wait, can my pizza like... I, don't, I can't remember how high... Okay, level 9. Can my pizza like one shot of Gargan on this part of food? Yeah, I had a bit of support from these guys behind it, but... I was not expecting that. Why'd I do that? Well, I've got to try this again. Most of us on the bucket head, so yeah. Stun him. Yes. Good one. Oh, I've got no plant food now. Please no sandstorms. Oh, what? Come on. All right, kill him quick. Wow, they actually did as well. I mean, that was only a one headed pea pod, so okay, this might be a little bit of trouble over here. I suppose when I've not got that many pizza people in the lane, DPS goes down quite a bit. So we should be able to handle these cards. If we. Okay, bomb one's dead. And fourth lane one stunned. He's dead. Let's just get rid of this grave, why not? It feels like one of those penny's pursuit levels now. Oh, I can you finish it. <laughs> I was about to say, it felt like one of those penny's pursuit levels where you have to like complete an entire lane as one of the bonus objectives. It's really weird, but it's quite a lot of fun at the same time. Yep, still using the Red Hot Chili Peppers cup for my Switch Sports videos, which you should totally go and watch. Seeing them live next week, so hey. Fun times. Right, level three is... We're going to get torch like zombies at some point or something. Survive that... Oh, mold colonies. Oh, that's him, isn't it? Yep. Um, why? I didn't even tap the repick button. I think I used these plants in an arena match recently. Right. I don't know much planting space. Multi-hit plants might be the way then. Actually, yeah, yeah I've got an idea then. Ah. Stop. Stop that. Right, dust slobber. Moonflower, that's pretty much what I'm going to plant. That's really not much space to plant at all, though. Well, I don't even bother going back now. So it's like that first three or four lanes we open and the back one that I'm allowed to use as well. Oh, actually, Solar Tomato should be a great shout. Oh, Reliable. Maybe a Mint would be a good idea. Yeah, why not? Let's use the Concealment. Doesn't that drag a bunch of them down? Oh, actually, that's useful for the Blockheads, giving it a one-shot them no matter how much health they have. Maybe chili bean. Yeah, go on then. I think now chili bean actually works on Pharaoh, so that's probably quite a good one to use. I could do this straight away actually, just to like get uh, some bonus. Obviously, since Moonflower's considered a shadow plant, it's in the concealment class, so oh, two of them already. Didn't know we're playing Jurassic Marsh. I'm not sure I want to do the Jurassic Marsh expansion levels, by the way, when they come back out, because have you ever played that one where the tortured and split pin? Yeah, that's a nightmare. Just me, they're much less falling sun nowadays as well. I love the little squishy sound that plays when the dust lobs hit their shots. Right, boost these guys quick. I should have went until there more zombies on the lawn so I could actually use its soul power. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. Produce while you've got the buff. Come on. Yes. And that's what we're talking about. There's a bug ahead, but I don't have my dust lobs to do that. I should have put more close range plants, really. I guess we could assemble some more here. Do not have the fastest recharge in the world, this, I think, girl, dust lover. Wait, can I actually take out the pharaoh? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yep, can we can do this, can't we? You are getting frozen. <laughs> Don't freeze the bucket head, you sh head. Please tell me up, I'm going to get the kill this one. No. Come on. No, sh You can land that, can't you? Okay, cool. I'll take that, then. I think the camel zombie should be fine, generally. This one's probably going to make it back there, because they've only got one on them. I should just use three dust off and two moonflowers, not the other way around. That one won't be powered, but I need them. Right. I don't know what got burnt then, but I think I've bought myself some decent time. In fact, you know what? Didn't realise there's still one back there, to be honest. I can probably get them, though. Just fast forward to this, this level. <laughs> go and get this guy, right? Yes. Oh, I've still got plant food, haven't I? Really? That's it? Yeah, that's one thing I've never liked about Dust Lobber. Her plant food just never hit the zombie you wanted to. Kind of like lightning reeds, but way worse. Anyway, we've only got one more level to go, so let's see what's in store for us next. A hell of a lot of graves. Why does it keep repicking my plants for me? Grave Buster for start. I think an imitator one might be a good idea as well. Take a trick out of that book. Maybe even is imitator. I never use this thing, so... It takes me ages to find it. There. 
Ah, we've got no explorers in this, so I'm actually gonna go for Wolfie now and pick Repeater Torchwood. Maybe start Stalia, 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 Stalia. Yeah, I'm going to try and do this without another instant kill. Coming. Two already. I mean, you could do this with one of them. I mean, I can just stall in by just baiting him into getting the sun. Get him. Four waves in this one. Don't know about that one, Chief. Make you eat that. Stun you guys. Don't really need to take out these ones to be honest, but I'm repeating could probably do that. I'm just gonna pop it to sunflower. Oh, I can smell a gog. And I'm putting that in front of him. Can I actually take one out before we use it? Yes, I can. Combination of health and boss speed increasing. Killing him that quickly, I won't say that. In fact, I'm just gonna. I could go one step further actually plant through the torchwoods. Well, on the final wave already, this has been fast paced, Jesus. Get a final wooden. In fact, this one's gonna. Oh, we tank that, really. Okay, they'll throw the imp out before they smash it, so. I mean, if my other piece can't take them out, then the smash attack will do that instead. Okay, top one's dead. That one just. I love how one got incinerated and the other just died from the repeat of afterwards. Ah, so that plant food left. Could have done some madness with that. Yeah, so leveled up plants of the way. They do encourage you to do that, don't they? Like, at the beginning cutscenes. Which I don't think are a thing anymore. Anyway, guys, that's been some Ancient Egypt expansion gameplay. I've been Golden of Vlogspot. Check out part two when it drops, and I'll see you soon.